is Lemaire right about there being something special about seaweed in skincare? I firmly believe in giving credit where credit is due, and seaweed does have some amazing benefits for the skin. But I have found some skincare products that do contain seaweed that are fractions of the price, or some borderline dupes for La Mer that don't cost $400 and that didn't need to be, you know, psychically contacted to a dead physicist who used to eat his skincare to get into a hot truck onto a shelf and then onto your face. We are going to speak about seaweed in skincare. What are the actual benefits and how much should we be paying for those benefits, right? Is this something that we absolutely need in our skincare routine? And if it's such a good ingredient, how do we use it? But then also this comes from the oceans, so how do we make sure that it's harvested responsibly? Some of my favorite products, this is from Osea, that comes from the California coastline and oh, do they have some products that give La Mer a run for the money? I've also got some choices from Whole Foods that cost a fraction of the price and if you want to get super expensive, we've even got some blue algae vitamin C. Now let's talk about the difference between seaweed and algae because because what's going on here? Seaweed is that magnificent thing that grows at the bottom of the ocean and tickles our feet when we try to swim in the California coastline or that gets washed up on the shore, but seaweed can actually refer to plants or algae. Now what is algae? Fun fact, algae is its own organism. It is not a plant, it is not an animal, and it is not a fungus, but it is fantastic. And we always hear about like algae blooms being bad. Well, there's actually a lot of reasons they can be good from the environment environment, to protein in a sustainable way, to our skincare routines as well. And what gets so confusing about seaweed and algae is that there are so many different types and sources. A lot of seaweed does come from the California coastline or from Patagonia, which is where this comes from that I got right here. A lot of seaweed also comes from France, but there are many different kinds. Kelp is what is used a lot in skincare, including this and La Mer. This specifically has bladder whack seaweed, FYI, but you can have red seaweed, brown seaweed, Seaweed, green seaweed, etc. And when it comes to algae, the same thing applies. You can have red algae, you can have green algae, you can have blue algae, which is what is in this very expensive product. And the actual quality of algae or of seaweed does depend on how it's sourced, formulated into products, and properly preserved so it can be delivered into the skin where it can do some work. Now, let's say that we do get a product that has some great algae or some great seaweed. What can seaweed actually do for the skin? There are many studies that have looked at seaweed and found that in skincare they can act as powerful biological actives. One study specifically spoke about the different compounds that they have that can be valuable in skincare, such as proteins, carbohydrates, fatty acids, amino acids, phenolic compounds, pigments, etc. And they can be used in food, pharmaceuticals, medicinals, cosmeceuticals, nutraceuticals, etc. And yes, as according to some studies, they have a lot of benefits. One study in 2021 specifically said that algae could be used as an antioxidant, antimicrobial, antibacterial, anti-aging, anti-wrinkle, anti-acne, moisturizing, basically it looks like certain types of seaweed or algae can deliver on it. Now, I do want to make it clear that article is stating that it could. That's not saying it's definitive. It's not going to cure acne or any disease, at least not that we know of at this point. But there's a common misconception that seaweed or algae causes breakouts based on a comedogenicity scale that was actually done on rabbit ears. Yeah, does my face look like a rabbit ear? That's a big fat no. Algae and different seaweeds have actually been shown to be very soothing to acne prone skin and can actually give a lot of moisture and hydration and skin support, specifically in wound healing. There are over 35,000 different types of algaes and different types of seaweeds out there, so it's impossible to go through every one. But a review paper did show that seaweeds could have antimicrobial and antifungal activity, which could benefit the skin, but also actually self-preserve a product. And that there were also many things about algae being moisturizing and supportive to the skin barrier. Algae also has some UV absorbing properties. Now, while algae is not the same thing as sunscreen, algae can be used alongside a sunscreen or actually help in the way your body processes UV. And fun Fun fact, although algae is not a plant, it does photosynthesize. Algae has also been shown to have amino acids that are beneficial to skin as well as antioxidants. And the way that I see algae and seaweed playing into skincare is that if you have a damaged skin barrier, if you're looking for something that is moisturizing or nourishing, if you're looking for something that will give you a glow underneath a sunscreen, or if you're looking for an antioxidant boost and you kind of want to fight against free radicals or pollution from the sun, stress in the environment, etc., that's where I say algae and
and seaweed are really potent and you can get different formulas that combine them with other things. For instance, this has hyaluronic acid as well as seaweed and it's fragrance free. So this is amazing for someone who needs moisture or has a more damaged skin barrier or if you just want a really lightweight but very nice gelatinous serum for spring. And if you wanted something like this from Alginus, this is the Blue Algae Vitamin C Brightening Serum that contains vitamin C along with algae. So when it comes to seaweed and algae products, which are the best ones? Well, I have a little lineup for you and let's first start off with what I consider to be a dupe for La Mer. Now this is not an exact dupe and I don't think the brand considers this to be a dupe, but that's how I use it. This is the Osea Advanced Protection Cream that I find to be extremely comparable to La Mer, but at a literal fraction of the price. Osea is also made with like this glass or what I believe to be glass packaging, specifically says that it's made in the USA and recyclable. And a lot of their stuff is literally made here in California, getting seaweed from the California coastline. Whereas La Mer, when it was originally created by Max Huber, he used to get it off the coast in San Diego. But now that it's acquired by Estee Lauder, uh, they don't do that anymore. I love that this is close to home and that this is an indie brand. Like they actually believe in what they create and they formulate very, very well. This texture isn't exactly the same. It actually tends to be a little bit more buttery. You know, the main ingredient in La Mer is actually petrolatum, uh, AKA petroleum jelly, AKA Vaseline. And it's very good for the skin, but it's also very, very basic. And that's why I always say that it's overpriced Nivea plus seaweed. And if you're looking for something that I believe is worth the money and a level up, this is one of my favorite dupes for La Mer although it's not an identical dupe. This is one of the closest things that I found if you still want something luxurious. Now they also have this water cream. This is the Seabiotic Water Cream. And if you're looking for something that has a little bit of the California ocean and you know, a level up from some drugstore water creams that we're all very familiar with, this formula is gorgeous. Like this is what Ariel the Little Mermaid would use under the sea. Like she would sink a ship to get to this stuff. Like that's what I'm saying. And I do understand that these are a little bit more expensive, but they are much less expensive than La Mer. And I feel like based on the ingredients and how they work on my skin that they are worth every single drop. Whereas, you know, I can't say that for all other brands. But if you're looking for something super inexpensive, do not fret because there are other options. This right here is under $10 on Amazon or at Whole Foods. This is the Seaweed Bath Co. It's the Hydrating Soothing Body Cream. And I say that for the price, this is very similar to La Mer. They actually have a fragrance that is like a eucalyptus citrus mint that is almost a spitting scent of the La Mer one. And this one is a good formula. It's just not the most luxurious. Now, this also says that it's a body cream. You could technically use it on the face, but I, you know, I do like it on the body. You could put it on the face though. It's like, it's got similar ingredients. I would just say that depending on the thickness and how much you want it to absorb, that is when you're going to want to choose something that's more of a lightweight water cream versus something like a body cream. Now there's also some Mario Badesco seaweed cream and some Alginist algae creams, but we can't forget about this hyaluronic C serum. Again, it's in this nice little glass package. This is one of my favorites. If you're looking for skin support and hyaluronic acid hydration, this almost feels like a cactus serum that I've used before, but this easily absorbs into the skin and it really helps with fine lines and wrinkles and hydration and it makes the skin glow. Again, the fact that this is fragrance free, we normally don't see a lot of luxury products being fragrant. We normally don't see a lot of luxury priced products being a fragrance free, nor do we see them, you know, being made in California and made ethically and sustainably. And Osea has these four pillars, these kind of wellness elements that they believe in and they try to incorporate into every product, which are ocean, sun, earth, and atmosphere. And the fact that a brand actually cares not only about your skin, but about the environment as well, is something that we do really need more of. They're based off of the California coastline in Avena Studios. So if you actually want to go to Southern California and visit them, you totally can. But they're a brand that practices this is what they preach and their indie beauty, which I appreciate. This is another good option. This is not my favorite option. This is the algae body oil. This is really good if you're looking for some algae, but I actually use this as a face cleanser. It does have some citrus notes in there, so just be aware of it, but I love this. They also have this anti-aging serum that I'm swatching and testing that has jojoba, but overall, if I were to recommend something, I would say that these are the absolute best. The Hyaluronic C Serum is phenomenal, and this is very close to what we see from La Mer. Now, we talked about a budget version, but what about our buddy Badescu? Yes, there's actually a Mario Badescu product that claims to be a La Mer dupe. This is extremely similar, but if you're looking for an inexpensive seaweed product, this one is green, but this one does the trick. This one is very nice on the skin, but this one does have a fragrance, so just keep that in mind. And if you're someone who loves, it literally smells like a grandma. 
I'm not saying that's bad. You know, it just has that, that powdery scent, like that Victorian era scent. If you're someone that likes that, you will love this. And overall, the formula is really good. And um, overall, I think this is a better purchase of money than La Mer. But Mario Badescu has an interesting backstory that we've actually filmed a video on that we just need to edit. But Mario Badescu has a long story from formulating skincare to lawsuits about steroids in products, all the way to an attempted murder at a beauty salon. Mario Badescu is an option, but if you're looking for some algae, this one packs a punch. Now this is luxury, and I understand that this is a pretty penny. I do not think that you have to go out and spend a ton of money on this, but if you have extra money and you want to, it's a good vitamin C algae serum. This is specifically cruelty-free and vegan. It's from Alginist's vegan line, but it's the Blue Algae Vitamin C Skin Clarity Brightening Serum. And yes, it has blue algae along with vitamin C. This is potent, this is fun, and it does come out like this blue-green color. And if you're actually looking for a specific type of algae or a specific color of algae, this is where you would get it. I feel like this is amazing under sunscreen, especially because this type of algae really has those UV absorbing beneficial properties. And then the vitamin C in here along with the algae, really acts as an antioxidant to boost up sunscreen underneath your regular sunscreen application. Now, this one does also have a heavy fragrance, so be aware of that. Out of all of these, there is quite a bit of fragrance, but the Osea one, this serum, is fragrance-free, and so is this body cream. But again, this seaweed company, they do sell ones that are not the unscented one, and they have like, you know, the lavender, the citrus, etc. I understand that some of these can be very expensive, but I don't feel like you have to spend La Mer money on that type of a product to get the benefits of seaweed. That is, of course, my personal opinion, but it is what I believe. And think about it, if you're spending $400 on a La Mer moisturizer and you have to go through that every 30 days, excuse me? Excuse me? Some of these are more affordable, but I also have a coupon code from Osea if you'd like to use it. This is not an affiliate, so I don't get any kickbacks, but if you want 10% off, I do have that as a code for you. And I wanna make sure that that's accessible if you're interested in trying any of these. As part of working with Osea, I was like, it's great that you're vegan and cruelty-free and California born and living like me, but you gotta give back to the community. Oh my God, look at me. I'm making music. I'm a rapper. I'm making songs. So just. Lyrical genius right here. That code is in the description as well as these other products and the medical studies and the literature that is looking more into seaweed and into algae and specifically how it works for our skin and our beautiful bodies. Overall, remember to be beautiful both inside and out and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. Love you guys. Bye.